In this problem, we're told what is the equation describing the motion of mass on the end of a spring which is stretched 8.8 .8 centimeters from equilibrium and then released from rest and whose period is 0.66 seconds. And then B is what will its displacement be after 1.8 seconds? So we want to go ahead and start with A. And so for A, there's a formula you should know which relates a bunch of variables. And so essentially the formula is x, which is your position, is equal to the amplitude times the cosine of omega t. Right, so t is just time, omega is angular frequency or velocity, right? And so what we're going to want to do is go ahead and relate these with the different variables we're given. So before we do that, let's just write down what we're given. And uh, we're going to manipulate this equation a bit too. So we're given uh, that it's going to be stretched 8.8 .8 centimeters from equilibrium. And essentially what they're telling us here is the amplitude, right? So they're telling us the amplitude, it's going to be 8.8 .8 centimeters. So there's that. And then we're also given um, the time period, right? So whose period is 0.66 seconds. So we're given... Uh, the time period, I you can denote it with uppercase T, so it's just 0.66 seconds. Uh, we're also given, uh, right, so that's basically it. That's all we're given. We're also given time, but this is going to be for part B, so, right? So the time variable we're going to plug in. So if we want to plug this in, right, we have A, we have the amplitude, but we don't have uh, omega, right? But we can relate omega. So omega in this case, uh, for these problems, is equal to 2 pi over t and so t in this case is the time period and what you notice is we do have this given so you can just say this is x equals a times the cosine of and then plugging it in it's just going to be 2 pi times the time over the time period right so this right here is going to be the equation and we just have to plug in the variables we're given and that's exact, uh, that's what they want us to do for the first part so x is going to be equal to a which is 8.8 .8 centimeters right and so uh, actually, what you want to do first is convert it into meters. So make sure this is in meters and not in centimeters. So this is 0 0.0, right? If we want it in meters, you just divide by 100. So 0 0.088 meters. And then, so just plug that in. So 0 0.088, and that's going to be the amplitude, right? Times the cosine of 2 pi. And then we're going to leave t, right? Because we just want the equation. We don't actually want the value over... Um, the time or the period right which is 0.66 seconds uh yeah so this right here is going to be equation so x equals 0 0.088 cosine 2 pi t over 0.66 so now this is your answer to a right so this is the equation now let's do b so b wants us to actually solve for when its displacement is t equals 1.8 seconds so this is just relatively easy all we have to do is just plug it in so x which is the displacement is equal to 0 0.088 times the cosine of 2 pi times uh, the time, which is 1.8 over 0.66. Right, so just go ahead and do this. Uh, plug in your calculator. So 0 0.088 times the cosine of uh, 2 times pi times 0 0.0, or sorry, 1.88, or 1.8, sorry. 1.8 divided by 0.66. So yeah, if you go ahead and do this, you're going to get x equals minus 0 0.0125237 and so on. I'm just going to round to um, the 5, right? So minus 0 0.0125. And this is meters, right? So this is going to be in meters because uh, it's just displacement. So minus uh, 0 0.0125 meters. Right, so this right here is going to be your answer to part B. So this is the displacement after 1.8 seconds. So this is B, this is A, and hopefully you found this useful.